Oh yeah, learning this for TV community member. If you love learning and laughing with TV series, then be sure to sign up for our free three-part mini course covering the funniest friends scene ever. Just click on the box in the top right corner. Today's lesson covers a great scene from Modern Family. If you enjoy this scene, make sure you let us know with the like, and also we'd love to hear what your favorite TV series is in the comment box below. It's our parents' anniversary, so we're surprising them with breakfast in bed. They're impossible to buy for. Okay, ready? One, two, three. three. No! 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 I'm sorry! Nothing's happening! Oh my god! Yeah, our kids walked in on us. We were, as they say, oh. having sex. That's not a euphemism, Phil. That's exactly what we were doing. Having sex. In front of our children. Well, they weren't there when we started. No. In fact, you weren't even there when we started. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's okay. Maybe they didn't see anything. Sweetie, they, they screamed, they dropped a tray of dishes, and then they ran out of here like they were on fire. You were on fire, lady. Really? You're still going. Well, forgive me for thinking your zesty performance deserves some praise. Phil, our children are downstairs right now, and they're probably traumatized. Oh, come on. I'm sure it's not that bad. I can still see it. I can't believe that just happened. What were they doing? Nothing. Whatever it was, it looked like Dad was winning. It! They were doing it! He has no idea what you're talking about. Sex? Yes. I know what sex is, Alex. It's when a man and a woman take off their underpants and then get into the bed. Stop talking! And, uh, I'm just gonna say it. I'm really sorry about what happened. Well, we're, we're not sorry about what happened. We're sorry that you saw what happened. Yeah, okay, they, they get that. Let's see. Uh, no one wants to see their parents. Your not sensuality. Dressed. Oh. Basically, mm -hmm. it's two adults. Adults. It's like you're shaking hands, mm -hmm. but you're not using your hands at all. I can't handle a big family talk about this. We're not going to have a choice. So when they start talking, just smile and nod and think about something else. Yeah, it's easy. Just like at school. Yeah. So I, I guess what I'm saying here is that as you get older and explore your sexuality, you will discover that as long as you are in a committed relationship with consenting adults, there's really nothing to be embarrassed about. And let's face it, your mom can't keep her hands off me whenever the gun show comes to town. <laughs> a good one, Dad. <laughs> Humor makes difficult situations easier. Wow, really? Totally. You talked to us on our level, but without being condescending. We did. All yeah. right. <laughs> I guess we did. Uh, yay, us. I think we really handled that well. Me too. You were excellent. You were pretty good. Oh. Oh, oh this mm. is such a weird day. I know it. By the way, happy anniversary. It always is. Hey, Mom, can I get... Oh, my God, enough! Oh. Hey, what's this? Your anniversary present. Aww. That's very sweet. Oh, my goodness. What is it? Door lock. How embarrassing. Thank you. We'll use it all the time. Mm. We thought the lock was a really good idea. But the problem is, it makes a noise. A loud noise. Oh. They're impossible to buy for. To buy for someone is to buy a present for somebody. To have them in mind when you buy the present. Yeah, our kids walked in on us. We were, as they say, oh. having sex. That's not a euphemism, Phil. That's exactly what we were doing. To walk in on somebody is to surprisingly interrupt an embarrassing or incriminating activity. For example, the manager walked in on his employees stealing from the store. As they say is used to communicate a popular opinion or line of thinking from people in general. For example, as they say a picture is worth a thousand words. The photo is the definite piece of evidence against him. A euphemism is a word that is used in replacement for another word because it sounds less offensive 
shocking or it takes away some of the unpleasant connotation or image the original word has. For example, instead of saying the old lady died, you might want to be a little more polite by saying the elderly woman passed away. In this case, elderly is a euphemism for old and to pass away is a euphemism for to die. We were, as they say, having sex. That's not a euphemism, Phil. The humor is when he says, as they say, you expect to hear a funny and common euphemism for having sex. But he actually just ends up saying having sex. He could have said, we were, as they say, getting busy, or another expression for having sex. In front of our children. In front of our children. In front of our children. Thanks. Sweetie, they, they screamed, they dropped a tray of dishes, and then they ran out of here like they were on fire. Sweetie is used to refer to a person you like or love, especially your romantic partner or family member. This word is also commonly used by older people when addressing someone younger. A tray is a flat piece of metal, plastic, or wood used for carrying food and drinks. For example, the waitress carried a tray with drinks. And they ran out of here like they were on fire. And they ran out of here like they were on fire. And then they ran out of here like they were on fire. You were on fire, lady. To be on fire. When a person is said to be on fire, it means that whatever they're doing, they're doing it extremely well. For example, if a car salesman sells three times more cars in a given week, you can say he was on fire during that week. In this scene, Claire, the woman, used this phrase in the literal sense when she says, they ran out like they were on fire. And Phil, the man, replies with the same phrase, but in its metaphorical sense. You were on fire, lady. Well, forgive me for thinking your zesty performance deserves some praise. Zesty is characterized by showing great enthusiasm and energy. For example, he gave a zesty graduation speech in front of the whole university. Praise is a comment or expression of admiration for someone or something. For example, the director received a lot of praise after the movie premiere. Our children are downstairs right now and they're probably traumatized. Oh, come on. I'm sure it's not that bad. Downstairs is used to refer to a lower floor of a house or a building. If you say that someone is downstairs, you mean that the person is on the floor below. Upstairs, on the other hand, is used in the same way, but with the opposite sense. For example, the boss's office is upstairs and the storage area is downstairs. To be traumatized is to be in a state of shock, often as a result of a disturbing experience. For example, the car accident left him traumatized. Not that bad. That, in this case, means not to that degree. For example, he's not that bad at sports. But we're sorry that you saw what happened. You're okay, they, they get that. Let's see. They get that. If you get something, it means you understand it. For example, the expression gotcha, which means I understand, comes from I got you, I got you, or just gotcha. It's like you're shaking hands, mm -hmm. but you're not using your hands at all. To shake hands is to grasp someone's hand and shake it as a way of greeting them, congratulating them, or perhaps to show you agree to the terms of a deal. For example, they shook hands after they signed the contract. At all is used to emphasize a negation. If you say, for example, I'm not angry at all, you are emphasizing you are indeed not angry. We always use this expression in a negative sentence. For example, I'm not interested at all in taking part in this contest. So when they start talking, just smile and nod and think about something else. To just smile and nod. To nod means to move your head up and down to show approval or mean yes. When someone says you should just smile and nod, they mean to say that you should fake your approval for something or agree with someone because that's easier or more convenient. For example, I know he was lying to me, but because I wanted to hear him lie a bit more, I just smiled and nodded. You will discover that as long as you are in a committed relationship with consenting adults... As long as is used to say that an action can take place under the condition of another action also taking place. For example, I'll cook as long as you do the dishes. Consenting is the adjective for the verb to consent, which is when two people agree on something. And let's face it, your mom can't keep her hands off me whenever the gun show comes to town. <laughs> let's face it. We say let's face it when we address a truth that's being avoided or is difficult to talk about openly. For example, let's face it, the reason why we haven't made progress yet is because we haven't tried hard enough. 
keep something off of somebody. If you say keep your hands off me in an imperative way, you mean don't touch me. And you would use this expression in a situation when you don't care if you're being rude. In this scene, however, he's not saying this imperatively. He's just telling the kids their mom can't avoid putting her hands on him. Because, as he says, he's too attractive. The gun show. Guns is an informal and playful way to refer to a man's muscular arms. If someone decides to show his guns, it means he'll show his muscles and will probably flex his biceps. By gun show, he means showing his guns. And keep her hands off me. Keep her hands off me. Your mom can't keep her hands off me. Totally. You talk to us on our level, but without being condescending. To be condescending is to communicate with the belief or attitude that you are more intelligent or superior to other people. For example, he has a very arrogant and condescending attitude towards his classmates. <laughs> Yay, us! I think we really handled that well! Yay, us! Yay is an exclamation used to express joy, approval, or excitement. Here she says, Yay, us! Celebrating the way that she and her husband handled the situation. For example, Yay, congrats on winning the raffle. Good for you. Oh, this is such a weird day. Such a. While so is used to emphasize the meaning of an adjective, as in, she's so kind, such as is used to emphasize a noun. For example, she's such a kind girl. Door lock. The door lock is the mechanism that allows you to lock a door. It's our parents' anniversary, so we're surprising them with breakfast in bed. They're impossible to buy for. Okay, ready? One, two, three. three. Oh, no! No! Oh, no! 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 I'm sorry! Nothing's happening! Oh my god! Yeah, our kids walked in on us. We were, as they say, oh. having sex. That's not a euphemism, Phil. That's exactly what we were doing. Having sex. In front of our children. Well, they weren't there when we started. No. In fact, you weren't even there when we started. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's okay. Maybe they didn't see anything. Sweetie, they, they screamed, they dropped a tray of dishes, and then they ran out of here like they were on fire. You were on fire, lady. Really? You're still going. Well, forgive me for thinking your zesty performance deserves some praise. Phil, our children are downstairs right now, and they're probably traumatized. Oh, come on. I'm sure it's not that bad. I can still see it. I can't believe that just happened. What were they doing? Nothing. Whatever it was, it looked like Dad was winning. It! They were doing it! He has no idea what you're talking about. Sex? Yes. I know what sex is, Alex. It's when a man and a woman take off their underpants and then get into the bed. Stop talking! And, uh, I'm just gonna say it. I'm really sorry about what happened. Well, we're, we're not sorry about what happened. We're sorry that you saw what happened. Yeah, okay, they, they get that. Let's see. Uh, no one wants to see their parents. Your Not sensuality. Dressed. Oh. Basically, mm -hmm. it's two adults. Adults. It's like you're shaking hands, mm -hmm. but you're not using your hands at all. I can't handle a big family talk about this. We're not going to have a choice. So when they start talking, just smile and nod and think about something else. Yeah, it's easy. Just like at school. Yeah. So I, I guess what I'm saying here is that as you get older and explore your sexuality, you will discover that as long as you are in a committed relationship with consenting adults, there's really nothing to be embarrassed about. And let's face it, your mom can't keep her hands off me whenever the gun show comes to town. <laughs> a good one, Dad. <laughs> Humor makes difficult situations easier. Wow, really? Totally. You talked to us on our level, but without being condescending. We did. All yeah. right. I guess we did. <gasps> Yay, us. I think we really handled that well. Me too. You were excellent. You were pretty good. Oh. Oh, this mm. is such a weird day. I know it. By the way, happy anniversary. It always is. Hey, Mom, can I get... Oh my god, enough! Oh. Hey, what's this? Your anniversary present. Aww. That's very sweet. Oh, my goodness. What is it? Door lock. How embarrassing. Thank you.
We'll use it all the time. We thought the log was a really good idea. But the problem is, it makes a noise. A loud noise. Oh. 